going to have a go at some mindfulness doodling again. This time um, our mindfulness doodle is called Taking Your Pen for a Walk. Um, I'll be showing you how in a minute. You can use any size paper, any colour paper, any type of pen, pencil or crayon. It really doesn't matter. Anything you have in the house is fine. And again, like the last doodling, it's about really trying to be mindful, really trying to focus on the way your pen feels on your paper as you move it around and the shapes that you're making. You can pick this up and put it down whenever you want, so just do a few minutes at a time um, if you want to, or you can sit for longer. Um, okay, so the final picture might look a little bit like this. This is one that I used. Um, I used the pencil crayon and just a small piece of white paper um, to create this and I'll show you. When you're taking your pen for a walk, you can choose to use any size paper, any, any colour paper, and any type of pen or pencil or pencil crayon. Um, I'll use maybe a red pen today. Okay, so there's a few different ways that you can start your walking pen. Um, one way is you just slowly and carefully Move your pen across the paper anywhere you'd like to go. Really focus on the tip of the pen as you do this. Now the other way you can choose to start your doodle is by using a ruler if you'd rather. So if I maybe use a green pen for this one. I'm going to put a piece of paper underneath just to make sure I don't get it on the carpet or floor. Okay. So just move your ruler around and make your marks anywhere you would like to. So it's similar to the first one I did, but this time you're using a ruler to create the lines on the page. For my final piece, I've chosen to use a purple pen to take my pen for a walk and I'm using the freestyle method rather than the um, ruler method. So once we've taken our pen for a walk, we then spend some time colouring in the, all of the gaps. You can choose to use pencil crayon or felt tip pen for this. I'm going to use pencil crayon today. I just find it can look a little bit neater. Okay, so... going to pick out random spaces to colour in. Remember with any of these doodles there's no right or wrong way of doing it. It's about the process. This means it's, it's about enjoying creating something. Lots of people find colouring in very relaxing. It gives us a chance to switch off from anything that's happening around us. And we can really take our time with it. And like I said in the last video, it's like a jigsaw. You can pick it up and put it down. Whenever you get a spare five minutes, you can come back to it and add a little bit more. It doesn't have to be finished in one go. Okay, okay so I've finished colouring with yellow and now I'm colouring in with green. I'm going to continue filling in the gaps, choosing different colours. 
until the whole piece is filled with colour.